Hello, this video will show you the new format for publishing a post on LinkedIn, which they are now officially calling articles. Sounds a little bit like Facebook articles, doesn't it? Regardless, we're going to show you how this works, so let's hop in. So, once you land on the home feed or the home tab of your LinkedIn profile, you'll now see we have a slight adjustment to your options up here. First, you could share an update, which is the quick and dirty, post a link here, share your thought, share it to whoever you want, you can share an image, you can upload a photo, obviously. But now we have that you can write an article. This used to be you wanted to share a post versus share an update. I actually like that they have changed this moniker to be an article because that is very much more like what it is, like a blog article. So once we click there, we now have a somewhat different interface and you have a lot more control over what is happening here. So let's just review the menu and your options. So first of all, you can select what type of uh, font you want to use, heading one, a smaller heading two, or normal body copy. You can bold, italicize, as an underline your copy. You can also add numbered or bulleted lists. Uh, you can add a quote. You can see if I started adding a quote here, I have something fabulous to say. That's a quote now. And again, it kept that, retained that formatting below. So if you want to unquote something, you can just say, and now we're back to normal. Except we have an announcement. So again, I'm just showing you the differences between how the headings and such look. Uh, you can also include a link to something. So if you have a link that you'd like to drive to a website, you can put the link here and then whatever the text is going to say to that link uh, for the hyperlink, you can add the text here and apply it or trash it. Uh, now, your cover photo is a bit different, and I did some testing on this. So you can upload any photo you want here. If your photo happens to have a longer orientation, I'm just going to use the actual photo that I use for the, the background of my LinkedIn profile. If it has a wider orientation, it will fit into this wider orientation, full screen, full width uh, format. You also, though, can squish it back down to be the uh, previous, the normal format that we used to have for these posts. Now, just to clarify, when I inspected this element and trying to see how big this is, the height of this image is 600 pixels. I believe the width will vary based on your browser, your magnification on your, you know, your view and everything like that. The width on this was 1,469 pixels, but the height is important. It's 600 uh, pixels high. Whereas if I squish down to this size, these dimensions are 744 by 400 pixels high. So again, it's going to matter uh, if I grab a different kind, and this is actually a post or an image I've used on a prior LinkedIn post. See, it fits really nicely into that 400 high orientation so that you can uh, check that out and obviously put that in there. So uh, that's... And also you can add a credit here if you have got had somebody else design this for you, grab the stock image from Simmer, this is where you can add the credit, or football is in the air, or some kind of caption, um, to just add a little more context and uh, the accreditation if it's required for the image you're using. However, what we didn't have in LinkedIn published posts or articles before is that you don't have to use a header image. You can say, I want to remove the cover, cover image, and now you just have text. I don't recommend this. Um, visuals are such a big deal for anything on social media, and a visual really, it's going to carry with that link when you share this out on LinkedIn or elsewhere. Plus, if people start sharing this out too, that image follows it, and everyone is more likely to click on an image than just on some random text. So I really do recommend that you put an image up there. You can create them for free and very stylistically using free tools like canva.com, it's canvas without an S, dot com. I do recommend best practice is that you use a header image. However, you now have the option to remove that. If you want to add it back, there it is. If you want to remove it, there you go. One thing that they've added, which I really do like, is they ha have the capability for you to add different media elements. These are a bit more versatile than they have been in the past. Uh, slides can be a Prezi or a uh, a PowerPoint or SlideShare, if you happen to use LinkedIn SlideShare. I like that you can add a video. Um, I'm going to go grab just the root link for this video that I have posted. It's another LinkedIn walk walkthrough on my site. And if I just paste the link in there and hit enter, 
it pops it in there with the thumbnail I have selected and now it's embedded here in your post which is really nice you also can uh, obviously upload an image and it's going to say do you want to drag an image here or upload it from your computer but let's say that I also have a fantastic tweet that I would like to maybe embed into this you can choose links and if I go to my tweet from today which is about a Twitter chat I'm going to be on and let's say that I want to have that embedded in there now that tweet is embedded and again it, it translates right over to Twitter uh, if you're signed into Twitter it'll let you follow me or whoever else's Twitter or tweet you've embedded and you can like and interact with that tweet right there so you've got some different options for adding interactivity to your post up here you still have the option to start a new post you could save this as a draft it's already saved as a draft because it auto saves for you and you can review your, your past posts and just see what's going on with those view the stats they have not added the ability to schedule a publish so so basically you would need to publish this live and it would be distributed right when you publish it you do not have the capability to schedule ahead of time but hopefully this was helpful for you to uh, review the new formatting for publishing an article on LinkedIn and now you can have uh, many articles that go out and accrue followers and generate conversation if you have any questions please feel free to contact me on LinkedIn uh, I am at linkedin.com slash m slash Rachel Moore social media have a wonderful day everyone